Angel Anaconda, Gordy Reinhardt is my favorite character because he's the most consistently a good person. So here's an episode that focuses on him. Here's Saving Private Gordy. When Mrs. Brinks taught us that we're all related to cavemen, I don't think she knew how related I still am. <laughs> <laughs> Where they can be on the receiving end of lots of violence. <laughs> <laughs> Approve. Oh, Gordy. Most people love baseball season's bright colors, but I prefer football's autumnal palette. I'm not sure that the team even knows what a palette is, Gordy. <laughs> situation over here <sighs> what is it boy looks like there's weeds or something in the water <laughs> gordy did you put weeds in the team's water absolutely not dad they're perennials except i'm afraid the daffodils refuse to stay in the shape of a little football oh. <laughs> football <laughs> Ugh. trying to help boys this is the finest example of team spirit i've seen since lombardi led his troops to victory in the blizzard bowl of and here's something i really really like about this particular setup it's not going with the they have to accept gordy for who he is his dad already does that i think that's great about the game son but they have a really nice relationship, and that's really charming to see. And this is in the 90s, too. Also, I like how every football player but Mark and Derek has the same face model. Gordy, play football? I need two volunteers. Who's ever up for the challenge? Be a man and take one big step forward. <laughs> Jerks. The, the football players are jerks, but Coach Reinhardt seems like a decent guy. What? Gordy played football with my brothers? That's right. Okay. Now all of you jelly donuts get back out there and show me that Derek and Mark spirit. <laughs> And she's the one more worried about his safety. Gordy bruises like a grape. You guys do aluminum. I also find it interesting that her brothers seem to be the few people that Angela's legitimately afraid of. A little origami to brighten your day. Gordy. There's something I have to tell you. Gina Lash is coming over with love in her magnificent heart. No. Good luck with that, Gordy. Things could get messy. But Angela, origami's one of the least messy hobbies you can enjoy. No glue. I mean, really messy. Football messy. Caveman messy. Never fear. I came prepared. <gasps> what is inhaler? Gordorito. Ready to rumble? I don't know the steps, but sure. Why not? Hey. Well, as Coach Reinhardt says, this is where we separate the men from the boys. Or at least where we try to separate Gordy from being killed by my brothers. <laughs> Why is Papa Noel over there? He should be with his family. There! Go deep, Gordy. I'll toss you a bomb. And sister and brother don't need to be here. No, wait. And I think a lot of it is her perception, too. <gasps> yes, finally. One big happy family. Okay, Good catch. Now, who's ready to play? Uh, <laughs> not me. For such oh, a baby, baby Lulu. You've got such full body. And that Gina Lash sheen. Good the one 
one character tick about Gordy that it has not aged well, because obsessive love generally is falling out of favor as a trope. It's overused and it is a little creepy. It also doesn't seem to fit Gordy's character. But even then, he could say maybe he's overcompensating for something. I don't know. Gordy's the potential to be romantic, as we've seen in other episodes. Also, Angel's on the receiving end of violence. Finding this, she does get subjected to a lot of violence in the real world. She's clearly picked up quite a bit from her brothers because she tends to be as rough as they are at times. She handled the violence pretty well. Also, this scene is a little early for a revenge fantasy as usual. Usually the real world tends to go on a little longer. <laughs> also, okay, in this revenge fantasy, Gordy, <laughs> it's Gordy's funeral. That's hilarious. That is so dark. That's really funny. <laughs> I think this is the first time a revenge fantasy dealt with death, but it's more she's afraid of him getting mauled by her brothers. It's funny, I know it, it's weird when I squee, but for some reason, I think it's just because of the way this character's written, how sweet he is, how consistently a good person he is in this really harsh world. I, like Angela, I feel the need to protect Gordy. Gordy's dad, the coach, will want to say a speech, too. I'll never forget Gordy's flower arrangement. I love how dramatic this is. Inspired us to victory back in the pudding bowl of 92. I doubt that. The thing I'll miss most about Gordy are those store-bought pre-packaged lunches he used to bring to school. Selfish bitch. <laughs> I know, I know, I should not... She hasn't done anything this episode. She hasn't even really appeared, but... She has not completely redeemed herself in my eyes, Gina Lash. Based on what I've seen. Again, and you see Angela going out of her way to try and help Gordy, even though it's probably not needed, because he's just doing his thing. And so... Nicer to friends than they are their own family. Delightful. Typical. Strawberry. Oh, 
And I like how they all accept him. That's really nice. They don't have to do the whole, oh, you have to learn to overcome your prejudices. They already did from the start. And it's more, it's more how Angela perceives her brothers as opposed to how they really are. Cause they actually are pretty nice to Gordy. Another positive thing, you get to see, even though Angela's trying to protect Gordy, he doesn't really need it. He's still, yeah, he has his health issues, yeah, he has asthma, and maybe he wouldn't be able to handle football to the extent that she and her brothers can, but he still gets to be normal, he still gets to be part of the gang, he's still accepted, and that's really great. That was probably one of the sweetest episodes in the whole show. Again, you see... You do see that the brothers can actually be decent, and you see how Angela's trying to protect her friend, and you see that Coach Reinhardt and Mark and Derek are really cool with who Gordy is. Just so much good feeling all around. Don't have much to say on that. Also, cannibalism joke, yes! <laughs>